I think Don is somebody who every day of his life got up looking forward to what he was going to do that day. He enjoyed his work. Uh, he always, of course, enjoyed coming back to his family. I find myself smiling when I think about him. Humanity is his love, and I think he wants to be the most humane of humans. Philosophers have debated for centuries whether or not there's a universal human nature. Well, I think it, there is. I simply think there is. And I believe it's a very good nature. His uh, ability to just make friends with anybody, anywhere, anytime. And he means it. He's not, not fooling. Don cuts across age. He cuts across geography. He cuts across economic status. I mean, you know, Don connects with everybody. He is a wonderful communicator. And I would say once you've met him, you would not forget him. I started out as, after World War II and on the GI Bill and went to Creighton University in Omaha, Nebraska, got a scholarship my last year from WOW. He had the slot from 12 to 12.15, and he was followed by Johnny Carson from 12.15 to 12.30. We were sponsored by uh, Butternut Coffee, which was a big coffee in that part of the world. I joined that company in 1950. Swanson's bought the coffee company, and then they merged it into Duncan, and of course Duncan merged into Coke. The power of that man's personality is what is, I think, the, his longest suit. We provide hundreds of thousands and millions of, you know, those happy little moments in people's lives. Don feels that by just giving that warm feeling toward Coke, when people walk into a store, they may not know themselves why they reach for Coke, but he thinks it's because they do feel somehow that this is a company that has some substance to it. What is happiness in a business organization? It's when an individual and the company link up their objectives. This ought to be a place where people can feel free to smile and have a good time. Doesn't mean we don't work, but I think we can have some fun doing it. Coca-Cola is integrity. It's the one product that consumers know they can always depend on. He'll be remembered in this company, I think, forever. There'll be echoes of his voice and, and his views. We may fervently wish for the world to adjust its course, but the truth, of course, is that we must adjust. Let's cinch up our belts and stand tall and join hands and walk boldly into the future together. To me, Don Keogh is the ultimate American statesman. As president of the Coca-Cola Company, he had an uncanny talent for connecting with people and showing them how much he appreciated them. Coca-Cola has got a magic about it, and Keogh some way uh, expanded. Uh, that magic has always been there through Mr. Woodruff and others, but Keogh uh, somehow kept that magic there. He is uh, simply the warmest man I've ever known. It's been a wonderful life so far, and uh, uh, I feel that way. I mean, I've never thought a lot about the past, but I can't wait to see what's going to happen tomorrow.